Hello there, welcome to The Eyes Have It. I'm about to share some incredible updates about the future of how eye doctors will soon be able to treat your near vision. So if you're over the age of 40, then you've got to listen closely to what I'm about to share here. Your eye care insights are on the way. Hi friend, I'm Dr. David Evans, and most of you watching this video today are familiar with the term bifocals, progressive lenses, and perhaps even presbyopia. Once we reach our early 40s, everyone, yes everyone, begins to experience a reduction in the eye's ability to focus on near objects. But you may be affected more or less by this weakening of your focusing muscles depending on whether or not you're nearsighted or farsighted. This is due to a condition called presbyopia, or the inability to focus on near objects. Now presbyopia is part of the natural aging process and the lens inside of your eye gradually hardens and loses flexibility. Now presbyopia cannot be prevented or reversed and it continues to progress gradually. To make our near vision clearer, most people wear some sort of vision correction to accomplish this. Your eye doctor may prescribe a bifocal or progressive lens or perhaps even a nice pair of bifocal contacts. Or maybe you have good distance vision and you're dependent on reading glasses for your close work. No doubt you would prefer not to reach for those reading glasses every time you have to look at your computer screen or to read a book. Well, if freedom from reading glasses or progressive lenses sounds great to you, then I can tell you that there are some exciting new options on the horizon. For the past few years, I've been an investigator in several clinical trials for new eye drops to treat presbyopia as an alternative to reading glasses, progressive lenses, or bifocal contact lenses. And I truly believe these new eye drops could certainly deliver a quality of life improvement for millions of people. Before we dive in, please don't forget to focus your attention on the subscribe button right here and click here so you never miss one of my brand new weekly videos. Now consider the fact that there will be 2 billion people worldwide with presbyopia this year. 2.5 million people will be diagnosed in the United States alone. So pharmaceutical companies realize that there are millions of people out there who would prefer not to have to put on their reading glasses for things like reading a text message or a smartphone on a menu at a restaurant. The research and development in this area has ramped up in an effort to capture these patients. And I can tell you that without a doubt, numerous companies are drawing closer to their regulatory approvals for their presbyopia correcting medications. Currently, these drops or treatments can be categorized into two groups myotic or pupil constricting, and lens altering drops. So please allow me to tell you how each one will work to improve your reading vision. First, the pupil constricting drops. This type of presbyopia drop functions by constricting your pupil and giving you like a pinhole effect and increasing your depth of field, kind of like the pinhole glasses you may have seen in the past. Numerous studies have delivered drops now that are comfortable and tolerable upon insulation and they're fast acting, resulting in no real decrease in distance vision and they have an excellent safety profile. Numerous companies are pursuing this route and at least three companies have drops that have a primary goal of improving your reading vision, Allergan, Oasis, and Occupier. The second group of eye drops is really hoping to restore youth if you will, to the aging crystalline lens inside of your eye. And at this time, I know of only one company investigating this type of drop, and that is Novartis. Now, this is a first-in-class treatment for presbyopia that uses an antioxidant to break down the bonds that form between the proteins within the lens, just behind your iris, and this allows the lens to restore its flexibility, just as it did before you hit that dreaded age of 40. Now, this eye drop could have the potential to stop or even reverse the lens hardening that occurs with age and allows its lens to return to its ability to focus both near and far. In the initial phase one and two studies for this drop, it demonstrated a good safety profile and the drop was easily tolerated and all patients showed an improvement in their near visual acuity after about two weeks of treatment. In fact, the effects of this drop were still present for several months after the study was completed. Now I need to let you know that these drops are not currently FDA approved, which means they are not currently available in the United States. But these future treatments look very promising. 
So if you want to dig in deeper, you can easily access information about all of these clinical trials at clinicaltrials.gov. And there you'll find a list of clinics and research centers around the country where these trials are happening now. Just type in presbyopia and you'll see dozens of drops, devices, etc. that are being evaluated right now in the United States. I do believe that one or two, if not all of these eye drops, will receive FDA approval and most likely we're looking at 2022 or 23 when these drops will be available in the United States. Thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments or questions below and please subscribe so I can let you know about our next video coming soon. Bye for now.